I'm Johnny. And it's time to lead, lead forward, follow, get or the get way. the hell out of the way. All right. So for about the past month, I've been thinking a lot about leadership, about what it means to be a leader, how I even to be you, a good leader. leader. And I've been having these thoughts like rolling through my mind and doing some research and mulling it over. Now, as is the usual case with these videos, this is not an expert opinion. This is only stuff I've recently discovered, but I've recently discovered some stuff and I thought maybe I'd talk a little bit about it. And the conclusion that I came to was not so much a conclusion, but a central question that really needs answering. How does one motivate someone or or oneself to greatness. Now, if you stop and think about that for a second, that one question itself leads to three other questions. What is motivation? What is greatness? And what is self? You know, easy questions with easy answers. Okay, let's start with that first one. What is motivation? You know, like free will. And there are some really simple ways to motivate people that we've known about for centuries, like enslaving them or giving them bales of money or threatening their family. It's like the usual. But what psychologists are finding out, that kind of external motivation doesn't necessarily lead to the best quality of work. Like when you're afraid your family is going to die, I mean, you can't really produce great quality material. It's a lot of focus on what's called intrinsic motivation. There are three keys to intrinsic motivation. Autonomy, where one is given the power and the responsibility to make decisions on their own. Mastery, one has the ability and the skill set to achieve the job. And purpose, which is almost self-evident, but you should understand the reason for what you're doing. Now, my personal opinion, flow also fits in here. If you can cultivate an environment where the psychological state of flow can happen, then you're onto something. It's related, but it's not one of the keys. So in a nutshell, that's motivation. That's the kind of motivation that you want. So what is greatness? Well, just as any of these questions, it's functionally impossible for me to answer them for you and you must answer them yourself and there's reams and reams of material out there to which you can answer that question so i'm going to glide on past this and go to the other really easy question to answer which is what is self <laughs> uh yeah so you might be asking well johnny why does that even matter don't you know who you are spoiler alert no one does but why is that even a question but i found myself asking myself, what is my self compared to my leader self? Where do the two converge and where do the two diverge? What kind of leader am I expected to be? How do I fit into that mold? What kind of leader do I expect myself to be? How do I reconcile any differences, any gaps between the expectation and who I am right now? And perhaps somewhat disturbingly, but fundamentally important, what happens when there is a gap from the external expectation and who am I? I came to the conclusion that what I really needed to do was to find who I wanted to be as a leader and what my core principles were. And this kind of gets into like floofy motivational speaky territory here. So I'm not going to get old Tony Robbins on you. Don't worry about it. Dianetics no Dianetics. So I came up with five principles of the kind of leader that I can be. And those are exploration, enthusiasm, ethics, experience, empathy. Okay, so what do I mean by exploration? Like learning is fun, basically. Like there's an entire world out there to explore and take apart and understand and enjoy, which I mean, ultimately leads to enthusiasm. If you can't be enthusiastic about it, how are you supposed to generate that feeling for other people? And ethics are self-explanatory. Like, I have certain non-negotiables, like respect and freedom and privacy. Experience is almost a no-brainer. Like, it's a common trope about that fresh-faced kid from West Point Command School who then, like, goes and slaughters an entire platoon because he has no experience. Like, this is a war story that's as old as war itself. And finally, empathy. In some ways, it's as simple as being aware of it and acting on it, but also getting deeper. To truly be able to motivate somebody, you should be able to walk a mile in their shoes. Now, I've just started my journey on this, so there's a lot more to this. But it does ask the question, what makes truly great leaders great? I'd like to know. Believe me. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, follow the leader is fun.